All right, it's Chinese kit time. I think this one came from Banggood, if I remember right. Uh, there's some part numbers on it here. I don't know if they mean anything. Uh, B102145A1X01. Anyway, um, let's uh, get out the tray here. And. All right. So we have some interesting things. Uh, let's see, we have a double sticky tape here on. Let's see, let's pull it away here. Uh, here's a PC board. And it looks maybe like instructions. Ah, maybe more than instructions. Uh, so, this is a line following robot and it gives you a line. So when we get it done, it should be able to uh, traverse this, uh, this loop here. And uh, we have uh, a lot of things in Chinese. There's a Q code. Maybe we'll go to the Q code and see if there's anything other than Chinese. Uh, but there is, uh, here's a schematic here. So we can look at that. Uh, so we have uh, two motors and we have LEDs so we know which motor is being run and two drive transistors to turn the motors on and off, uh, two comparators to turn the motors on and off, and then two LEDs. So um, I'm assuming if one of the LEDs, uh, uh, a photodiode, I imagine, it says LED, hmm. I think they probably mean photodiode. If one of the photodiodes is, oh no, no, here they go. Here are the photodiodes, uh, they're photoresistors. So we have photoresistors and photodiodes. Um, and these are photoresistors, it would seem to be. So the voltage would change here depending on if light is striking the resistor or not. Same here. And then you can set the sensitivity with these two potentiometers. And uh, if the motor is off on white, then one of the motors will go and bring it back onto black. And if the other motor is on white, then it will turn on and will bring it back to black and it will follow the line. So pretty, uh, pretty simple. Uh, we have uh, some uh, parts list here. Um, so we can use that. Um, so what do we got? We have a uh, PC board uh, that everything mounts onto. We have two motors and a bag part. And we have uh, resistors and uh, looks like just a label on/off switch. Uh, and here are the photoresistors. Sorry, you can't see any of this, can you? So, uh, these are the photoresistors and the adjustments. Oh, it even has a socket for the, uh, for the comparator. Yeah, looks pretty straightforward. Maybe the mechanical parts are a bit tricky to figure out what goes where, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. All right, so all of the uh, values are on the PC board. So uh, you really don't need to look at the schematic. Um, soldering down some 51 ohm, 51 ohm resistors right now. They're they're clearly marked on the uh, clearly marked on the PC board. So that's good. So uh, putting on the resistors, uh, the transistors are marked, the LEDs are marked, everything's marked, so uh, pretty easy to put together. Okay, if you're building this, uh, the trickiest part I think is the uh, wheel assembly. Um, so the motors um, are mounted with two screws from underneath, so they set up vertical like this. Um, and then um, the screws that come with um, these little 
little black screws go into the motors and little silver screws go into these standoffs here. And the standoffs, the screws are too long for these standoffs, so you have to put that little yellow washer down there at the bottom. So make sure you put that little yellow washer down there, otherwise the screws bottom out. Um, and then everything else is press fit, so these uh, shafts, the uh, little worm gear here pushes onto the shaft of the motor, and then there's a long shaft that presses through this middle gear, um, and uh, it goes in the bottom, bottom like this, so uh, that should help you. All right. All right, the other interesting part of this assembly is the uh, emitter detector system. So there's two LEDs and two photoresistors. And um, there's a, a screw. Get this at focus here. Let's see. There's a screw here uh, that is the actual front wheel. <laughs> the top of that little cap screw there is the front wheel. So I've put the uh, uh, LEDs kind of close to the paper. Uh, they might even be, might, might, might even be a little bit closer, but. Um, that's just my guess there. I think that'll work. Alright, uh, that's what it looks like put together. Uh, got some batteries in it. Um, and uh, I think it's ready to go. So we'll turn it on, see what happens. Uh, okay, uh, we have we have some LEDs on on the bottom. So it's, oh, 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 it's going. Okay, so if it sees white, if it sees black, nothing happens. So that's good. And if it sees white, it goes left. And it seems as though one channel is working and the other channel is not working. So we'll have to figure that out. Figure out why it's working one way but not the other way. So when they're both on black, nothing goes. And when they're on white, <laughs> it just makes left turns. Uh, if it's white, both motors should come on. It should go straight, so we'll have to figure that out. All right, I think I got it going. I think the uh, uh, IC wasn't set in the socket correctly, so I pulled out the IC and I put it back in, and it seems to work. So maybe it was a bent pit or something. So oh, there we go. Whoa, it's following the line. It's a little bit shaky, but. It is working. Let's see if we can get it go the other way. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe not. Whoa. Well, it works good in this direction. I probably could fiddle the resistors and make it work better, but uh, anyway, the robot's working.